I have failed. <laughs> this book has been dating. <laughs> I read 16. <laughs> Only 67 pages. Dark, so I can't wait to dive back into this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new, I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another reading a vlog. If you've been following my last couple of videos, you kind of know that I've been in and out of a slump, but I definitely think I'm now out of it. So I thought to keep up the pace of reading, I'd set myself a little reading challenge in the hopes that I'll push myself completely out of my slump in preparation for doing a entire month long challenge in April, which you guys will find out about very, very soon or may have already found out about. AKA I'm doing prompt to prompt again. So excited. Um, so yes, I'm ready to get out of this slump once and for all. So let's do a challenge to help me do that. And this challenge, I've been seeing it around for ages now, but there seems to be a resurgence in it. And I did have it planned in my monthly content planner anyway. It just seems that I'm seeing it more frequently in my subscription box at the minute. And that is your phone dictating how long you read for each day. There are different variations, whether that's like how many times you pick up your phone each day, how long you spent on your phone. And for me, I think my screen time is very limited in compared to some people that I see do this video. Plus I use a lot of my phone for exercise classes on my spin bike. So it's kind of like a little bit inaccurate on how much I actually spend like doom scrolling is what people call it. So I'm gonna do it pickups instead. So in this video, every single day, my phone pickups from last week will dictate how many pages I read this week. So without further ado, let's find out I'm gonna record my screen let's find out how many pages i'm going to read today it is monday the 18th of march i'm on my lunch break currently from work so i'm hoping because i haven't looked in advance to see how many pages i'm gonna have to read today i'm hoping it's not too many because i technically should have started this video earlier i just haven't had a chance work has been busy um so let's go to settings let's go to screen time all apps and website activity go down to week go to last week and on Monday, okay, that's not too bad. On Monday last week, I picked up my phone 81 times, which isn't bad at all. Now let's get onto the books that I'm gonna read for this video, hopefully. The book that I'm currently in the middle of and I know will get me out of my slump because I'm 50 pages into it and I'm obsessed already. And that is Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. This was gifted to me at Christmas by Chloe. And she said, I'm not sure if you've heard this book, but I just thought it sounds adorable. I'm not being the best at recommending books to you and this isn't on your wish list. So no offense will be taken if you DNF. Chloe. I don't think I'm doing enough in this book. This book is so cute. It makes me already want to go back and read When in Rome, which was the first book in the companion series for this book series by Sarah Adams. I'm obsessed. It's so cute. It basically follows our main character, Annie, who has never kind of officially dated before. She's very much a virgin. And one of her best friends is a big kind of like pop star. And she has a bodyguard who's very kind of like rough around the edges, tattoos, dark eyes, you know, the stereotypical bad boy. Um, and Annie kind of has a thing for him, but he hasn't been in town because her best friend, pop singer, Amelia Rose hasn't needed a, her bodyguard yet, but she's about to get married. So the press are very much on her back again. And the bodybuilder, Will, the bodybuilder, the bodyguard comes back into town called Will and and Annie and Will kind of have this encounter during one of Annie's really, really bad date situations and a romance ensues from there basically. And I'm obsessed. So I need, oh no, unfortunately, you need to read 18 more pages of this today. What a shame. Um, but I'm hoping because of this kind of little challenge, I'll be reading more than one book this week. And the next book kind of like on my TBR that I've already started during a vlog that I've already posted. If you want to see that, I'll link it up above and down below. But that's where Mark picked the books I read for a week. And spoiler, I DNF one of them, but I'm ready to go back to it. And that is Ghosted by, by Jen Ashworth. I'm not gonna talk too much about this yet because I am kind of like already in the middle of it. I'm gonna jump straight back into it. I'm not gonna start from the beginning. This is a dark contemporary thriller where a wife's husband goes missing, but she doesn't report him missing to the police until five weeks later. And there's like, what's going on there? And then I don't know if I'm gonna finish both of these books this week, but if I do, because I haven't obviously checked the rest of my pickups for this past week, I have the rest of my TBR to read because we're coming up to the end of March and I haven't read all my TBR yet. So we still have a lot of books to pick between and those being A Soft DNF of If You Still Recognise Me by Cynthia So, The Secret Society of Regular Witches by Sandy Mandana and Careless by Kirsty Capes. But still three books I need to get to before the end of March, preferably. So we have a big TBR to get through. 
I'm not expecting to get through the entire TBR by the end of this week, but I don't know what my pickups are going to be for the rest of the week either. So we're just going to row, row with the flow. <laughs> we're just going to go with the flow and see what happens. But welcome back to another vlog. I'm really excited to get back into my reading groove. I'm obsessed with my current romance. So let's go ahead and get to reading. <laughs> Do not mind the mismatch outfit. I'm cozy. We are starting on page 48. I need to read 81 pages today. Let's go. Let me go for one day. Let me lose myself again. Give me something for the pain. Always trying to pretend that I'm not living just a lie. Broken heart and shattered lives. Let me go for one day. Let me lose myself Oh, I knew How this would end Oh, I knew That it would die That we would Come to this That we would Say goodbye Someone help me see It's coming up to 9.30 in the evening I'm about 20 pages away from completing my reading goal for the day. I just wanted to come on here and document the fact that, did you guys know this book has fake dating? <laughs> like, I guess it makes sense from the title, like practice makes perfect, but this book has fake dating in it. I am obsessed. If this book doesn't get a five star, I will be so sad. Like, I am loving this book. I am just over 100 pages into it. I'm about, I'm meant to get to like a page 129. I think the chapter ends on 130. So I'll be reading like 82 pages today, which is absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, just wanted to document. I am absolutely loving it. I'm going to see you in the morning to see how many pages I need to read tomorrow. But I do believe it's more than today. And I just about managed to read 80 pages today, obviously like coming out of my slump. 80 pages is like quite a lot to do in one chunk. So I'm hoping tomorrow I can like spread my reading out across like the entire day rather than just kind of like trying to read it all in the evening but we'll see what tomorrow has in store this book has fake dating i am obsessed i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> Happy Tuesday. I just need to check how many pages I need to read today based off my pickups from last Tuesday before I leave for work. So if I need to, I can read before I start work on my lunch break, etc. I don't think it's going to be too bad, but let's have a look. Okay. Tuesday is my biggest day at 108 pages. So I need to read 108 pages today. That'll bring me to like the 240 page mark of this, which I'm very excited about because I can't wait to dive back into this um, and see kind of where it goes. Small town romance, kind of like best friends, friend, fake dating. I'm obsessed. I can't wait to delve right into this um, and read another 108 pages. If I read more, that's fine. Like I'm not going to try and cut myself off at the exact 108 page mark because yesterday I was meant to read 81 and I read 82 because that got me to the end of the chapter. So as long as I read the pages that it says and then anything additional is just an added bonus, that is fine. Um, so 108 pages minimum today um, and let's see how we get on. I'm crying out behind a mask Give me something for the pain I want to lose myself again Please get out of my mind Just get out of my sight Let me go for one day Let me lose myself Oh, I know How this would end Today we are reading only 67 pages. This is my lowest day. So yesterday was my highest day at 108 and today is my lowest day at 67. I am only actually like 90 pages away from finishing this book. So I could potentially just finish it today because I really want to finish it today because I'm loving it. And I also want to like move on to my next book. So there's more than one book in this video, but we'll see how we go because Wednesdays are the evening where I go have dinner with my mum. So I have a bit less time at home in the evenings to read. So we'll see how I go. 67 pages is the minimum. And then let's just see where we get up to from there. But happy Wednesday. 
Hi guys, happy Thursday. I did manage to finish Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams last night. Of course, giving it a five star. <laughs> it was just so cute. It had fake dating. It was like best friend's brother, but not really brother, like friend. And the romance was just so cute. It wasn't like smutty. It was kind of like fade to black, but the sexual tension kind of really made up for it. The sexual tension was so good. I guess it was a little bit kind of like insta-lovey, but not in like an annoying way. And I just, you know what? I just absolutely loved him. It was the right book at the right time and I had a brilliant time reading it and I highly recommend it if you're looking for another romance to maybe get you out of a slump. Something just quick and easy to read. I really do recommend it. So so yesterday I was meant to read 67 pages and I ended up reading 98 pages to finish Practice Make Perfect. So yay for me. Today I have to read 74 pages and that is absolutely fine. I think at the beginning of the vlog I said I was going to start Ghosted because I started it last week and I just want to kind of like finish it but I don't want to lose my streak of amazing books because apart from one non-fiction which I don't rate all of March I've given 4.5s or 5 stars and I don't want that streak to end. I'm talking quietly by the way because Mark is asleep upstairs and I'm about to leave for work it is quarter to seven um, so I'm going to start Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sandy Mandana um, just because I tried reading this at the end of last year and I know I was enjoying it but I was in a slump so I was like I just put it down hoping to pick it up again soon and that is now this time um, and I have high hopes for it because people say it's very similar to House on the Sea by DJ Clued and I love that one, get that one five stars so I'm really hoping by picking this one up instead of Ghosted I'll continue my streak of 4.5 five stars it's crossed um so yes i'm going to read 74 pages of this today see how we get on and i'll keep posted and let you know what my first kind of thoughts are of this book happy friday i completely failed at this challenge yesterday i only managed to read 16 pages of the various secret society or regular witches when i was meant to read like 78 i can't remember i'm pretending i'm recording this on the friday but i'm not i'm recording it the following monday but i thought i'd take you through what it's like in my own journal when i complete a five star like a brand new ferret book so the first thing i do is just simply draw a book spine and write a title in it on my book shelfy page in the first spread of my own journal then i just quickly check that i've done any of the goals i hadn't with practice makes perfect but that's absolutely fine i color in a square to keep on top of how many books i've read and that Practice Make Perfect, the five star, was my 20th book of 2024, which is crazy. And even just then it felt weird saying 2024. I still sometimes think we're in 2023. Then I go onto my book tracking app, which is Bookmori, and I triple check the amount of pages I exactly read the day before. And because I'm filling this pages and pixels out for a couple of days, um, I'm going back a few days. So I'm just making sure that I'm filling it in all correctly. So I'm just coloring in a few of the squares that correlate to the amount of pages I read on the 18th, 19th and 20th. And apparently also the 21st. And then on the other side of my ring journal is the physical TBR bar graph, line graph thing, which I don't fill out until the end of the month. So I'm just gonna pass that. I'm also filling out my five stars at the end of the year. I check that my 2024 TBR is all up to date, which it is. I just flick through these other pages because they don't like are, they're not relevant to my current read. And then I go straight into my March kind of section of my bullet journal or reading journal, should I say, sorry. Um, and batch do the amount of pages I read per day. I just clearly like tracking the amount of pages I read per day. This isn't for everyone, um, but I do have multiple ways I track it. Obviously, I track it in the app that I just showed, Bookmori. I also track it in my pages per pixels, which you obviously just saw me fill out. And then I also do track it in my monthly kind of dashboard page where I do like a bar graph, line graph sort of thing of how many pages I read each day. I clearly, this is my favorite thing to track in my reading journal. Is it practical? Is it something that I reflect back on? No. Do I enjoy having that satisfaction of seeing the amount of pages I read per day? 
as I fill it out. Yes, it's one of the things that make me really happy. I like seeing the visual aspect of how many pages I read, even if it is just like 16 pages, obviously like I did read yesterday. I just like seeing where like my reading kind of ebbs and flows throughout the month, like when I hit reading slumps, when I'm like reading a, a lot. And it kind of does always correlate to what I have going on in my life and kind of what the events are surrounding the current time in my life to how much I manage to read. So it's just interesting going back. I don't reflect on it very often, but I do like reflecting back on it every so often. And I do always physically add the amount of pages. Um, so it isn't just the bar graph. So I still see exactly how many pages I read per day. Um, and on the other side, I will just tick off the book from my TBR list and then also tally up where the book kind of rated in my little stat section. So a nice little line next to the five star, which is always really exciting. And everything else is filled out at the end of the month. As you know, I completely failed yesterday. I was meant to read 74 pages. I read 16. <laughs> I didn't even finish a chapter. I absolutely failed. So to kind of challenge myself or I don't know, punish myself that I didn't read basically anything yesterday, I'm going to combine the remainder of yesterday's pages with today's amount of pages. And I'm on my lunch break, it is 10 to one. I haven't even checked the amount of pages that I need to read today. So this could be an absolute fail once again, but I'm willing to give it a go and I want to keep up this vlog. So without further ado, let's figure out how many pages I'm meant to read today and then add yesterday's leftover pages onto today's count and see the amount of pages I need to read in total today to try and make up for the absolute fail that was yesterday. Okay. Last week on Friday, I picked up my phone 80 times. So I need to do 74 minus 16, because I did read 16 pages yesterday. So that's 58 plus 80. I need to read 138 pages today. It's definitely possible. And I do definitely want to get a big chunk of this book read because last time I read it, I knew I was going to like it. It just, I was in a slump. So I knew that reading it now wouldn't give it its full potential. So I'm excited to get like a good chunk of it in now. So reading like 140 pages today will get me to like a good solid amount of reading done. So hopefully that is possible. Me and Mark have started our next round of Survivor Australia, which we are absolutely obsessed with, which kind of took up most of my time yesterday, which is why I didn't read, but it's just so good. So reading might be a little bit of a challenge today, but hopefully not. I don't have any thoughts on this because I'm literally 16 pages in. So hopefully I can get a good chunk of this read and then I can come in with an update. But yeah, happy Friday. <laughs> I'm just going to start this clip by saying I have failed. <laughs> happy Monday. It is the following Monday and I'm here to sadly put my hands up and say I failed. I want to do this challenge again and I want to succeed but I did fail the last couple of days of this challenge, which I'm really sad about because I've been reading some great books in this vlog and I didn't, I was like, do I scrap this video? But I was like, no, I've read some really great books in this vlog. So I want to get, let you guys know of my thoughts, my feelings of the books. Um, so yeah, I have failed at the challenge, but I just want to do a little bit of a recap. So last time I updated you, it was Friday. I've given myself a challenge to read Thursday's remainder of pages plus all of Friday's pickup pages, uh, which leak called out to like 140 pages. I didn't do that, but Friday was definitely a better reading day than Thursday was. I read a total of 50 pages that day. And then I was like, right, I didn't vlog it. But on Saturday morning, I was like, right, I'll just do the remainder of Friday's pages and add it onto Saturday's pages. But that didn't happen either. And then I was like, I'm just gonna scrap this vlog. Like it's not worth it. And I was like, no, because I really enjoy how this vlog's come out so far. So I don't wanna scrap it. So what I'm just gonna do is a little recap. So on the days that you missed on Saturday, I was meant to read 83 pages. Oh, okay, I actually succeeded. And I read 97 pages. <laughs> and then on Sunday, I was meant to read 71 pages and I read 71 pages. And that's without even checking. Like guys, I did not check. Okay, so I didn't really fail at this challenge. I've just failed at updating you. The only days I really failed was Thursday and Friday. That's so strange. Okay, anyway, on to what you guys really wanna <clears throat> hear me talk about, and that is if I'm enjoying this book, because I know this book is really, really hyped. A lot of people love this book, and I am definitely enjoying it. I am now, with all my reading over the weekend, un unintentionally reading the amount that I was meant to read anyway, which 
mind boggled. Um, I am now on to page 234 and I'm really hoping I can finish the rest today having just under 100 pages left which I think I can do and I'm really enjoying this. This is such a cute kind of whimsical a cozy fantasy book. It basically follows our main character Mika Moon who is part of a society of witches and in this world witches aren't obviously kind of well known and they keep themselves themselves because we don't really understand them and it very much is like yes we're witches but it's tackled a lot of like political issues in today's societies with witches because it's kind of like the main kind of conversation starter but you can definitely see kind of what the conversations our author is trying to get across in this story but using witches as like the carrier of the message which I think is really good um, and it's definitely LGBTQ which is lovely as well it's just really cozy and cute and it does follow Mika Moon who to feel less alone in this society where she can't really truly reveal who she is she starts a YouTube channel and she tries to fake being a witch and everyone who watches obviously thinks it's an act. <clears throat> they don't actually think she's a witch, but she is a witch. Um, and then this random guy called Ian, he's like 50 years old, he lives in a place called a nowhere house and he has three young witches that don't know how to control their power. Um, and there's a visit coming at the end of the year and he's really, and he's really stressed out at that visit. He's gonna reveal that these three witches live together because you really shouldn't, have more than one witch live in one kind of close area because of the amount of power that the three witches can kind of produce. So they contact Mika, obviously Mika believes that she's doing a good job at thinking that she's pretending to be a witch rather than actually being a witch. Ian reaches out to her and being like, hey, I need your help, come and look after these three young children who don't know how to control their power. And she ends up going to the Nowhere House and starts to create like really, really strong bonds and helps these three young witches kind of really discover who they are and what their powers are and it just is a story about self-discovery self-love found family and just finding your place in the world and it is a really cute wholesome story is it one of my favorite books no it'll probably be like a three 3.5 because i'm really enjoying it but it's, it's nothing special to me and that makes me sad because i do really enjoy this book i'm gonna see obviously how the ending is if it makes my heart really warm and fuzzy it could be a four but it probably is going to be more like a 3.5 because I'm enjoying it but there's nothing really really special that is grasping me to make this book like something I'm going to truly remember for a long time so yeah and really enjoying this book I am going to finish it today but I'm going to end this vlog here so on a weird turn of events I did technically apart from two days complete this challenge which I didn't think I would actually do at all but I've had such fun doing this vlog for you guys so I really hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a massive thumbs up for me I really do appreciate it and it massively helps out my channel and subscribe to see future videos from me I do anything from fun themed reading vlogs monthly tbrs journaling content anything bookish that you can think of i usually have it here so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future content and let me know in the comments down below what books you've read recently have you had only five stars let me know in the comments down below i'd love to chat to you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye guys